Hi, Dave with Tornado, introducing the new cordless series. We've got a upright vacuum, backpack vacuum, and a carpet and floor sweeper, all utilizing the same technology in the battery and the charging system. Single battery for the upright, the backpack, and the floor sweeper, all interchangeable. So many cool features, and there's gonna be more to come. Let's go through each one. Okay, so the Strike cordless vacuum, you'll notice it has the tools built into it and a lot of cool features. So let's go through it. Again, starting with the flow of the dirt, I like to show right inside of here. This is where the dirt enters the machine and you're gonna notice that it's toolless to take that strike plate off. So that plate comes off right there and it exposes the throat of the machine where the suction takes place as well as that Chevron designed roll bar. Now, if you needed to change that roll bar out, it's a spring loaded action. Just push it to the left and that'll pop right out. And you can put your new one in and snap it back into place. What's also very cool about this machine is the fact that it has a self cleaning mechanism. And what I mean by that is this button, this yellow button right here, when I turn on that brush roll, you hit this yellow button, it's got a picture of a, a scissors on it, and what it will do is take that brush roll and pull it back towards the cutter. There's a cutter in the back there that's gonna cut all the yarn and hair and stuff that builds up on that brush roll. So self-cleaning is a huge feature and a time saver. You think about all the time that you spend taking apart a vacuum, cleaning those bark brush rolls out. To be able to have a built-in self-cleaning mechanism for that brush roll is unique and different and very cool. Let me show you how that works. Now what that's doing is that brush roll while it's spinning is leaning back, getting pulled back by that, by that button and it's cutting all that yarn away. It's a very cool feature. Easy to put this back in. Just line these all up and it snaps right back into place. Now we'll follow the flow of the dirt so that dirt's gonna come up and then it drops straight down into that bag. So no elbow bends or anything, straight down into the bag here. Now here's our removable hose that's got ample reach to reach all of your high places and the tools that come with it. You've got a brush roll tool and a crevice tool. And think about from a cordless perspective, you've got a lot of reach. And again, just like our CBD series, it's got a quick disconnect so you can check and make sure that all your clogs are easily cleaned throughout the system. Spinning around to the back of the machine, you're gonna see all the, all the touch points are all always color-coded yellow, just like the CVDs as well. Easily remove the cover it's sealed around the outside, so we get that good HEPA reading. And then to remove that bag, pull straight down, and that exposes your HEPA filter, which is simply removed. If you just pull this tab over and then kind of pull it towards you, you can pull that out. And then to pop a new one back in, you wanna make sure that this edge slides underneath there. There's a flange there, and then it snaps back into place. Installing the bag, pops right up and nice and easily. And we're good to go. Okay, the next thing I wanna show you, which is a very slick design, is the digital readout that's available right by the control panels. So that yellow button is your on, it's your power button. And then the one right underneath it, that's a blue button, and that's for eco mode. Now you can decrease the pressure, you can decrease the suction power, even the decibel rating by hitting that button, and that's gonna conserve your power and save you a little bit of time. And uh, especially if you're in some sound sensitive areas, you wanna hit that button. But if you just want all the cleaning, and all the power that this machine has, then you can take the eco off, and that number will change based on what's going on in the machine. So 
to turn the machine on. You'll see that it was at 40, and then I put it into eco mode and it jumped up to 43. You'll notice down at the bottom, there's a quick release there. Again, a touch point that'll pop that battery out. The battery for all three of the pieces in the cordless line are super rugged, super durable. They're built um, one of the toughest in the industry, and it's all rubber coated and uh, very easy to, to handle. One of the cool things about the battery is this readout right here. It's gonna give you a digital percentage of how much life that battery still has left in it. And when you plug it into the unit and you run it, that switches over to minutes. So you'll be able to tell how many minutes are still left in that cleaning cycle of that battery. That's also the number that's gonna come out here when you turn the machine on. That's gonna tell me how many minutes I have left before that battery needs to be charged or to swap out the other battery. This nice, easy carrying handle balances the vacuum right in my hand and I'm gonna come around front and I'm gonna show you some other neat features. So this vacuum doesn't have a foot pedal release. There's a magnet in there that holds that up in place and the, the brush roll will not spin until it's released from the body of the machine. And the way you do that is you just put some pressure on the front of it and rock it back. And you can see the magnet right inside there. And that's a safety mechanism that you don't want that brush roll spinning when it's in the upright position. You only want that brush roll released and spinning when it's down on the floor. Now this vacuum also has built-in sensor technology so that you can utilize it on carpets, and if you go over to the hard floor, that it will know that it's not on a carpeted surface anymore and that brush roll will slightly come down and raise back up when you come back on carpeting. There's sensors built in for that. So the technology in this machine is seamless when you go from a carpeted transition to a hard floor surface. Truly one of the best vacuums in our lineup. The last thing I wanna show you, grab that handle, is the charger. Now the charger is gonna look just like a regular charger would if you're using a cordless vacuum or I mean a, a cordless drill or something of that nature. Quick release. Line that up with the metal, slide it right in and plug it in. And you can get your next battery, plug it in, and you're ready to go. Nice and easy, charging off the, off the uh, unit. You don't charge it on the unit. And that's it for the strike. Don't forget to put your tools on the front. And you're ready to go. Let's take a look at the other two pieces in the line. So right out of the box, the cordless backpack, you're gonna notice has a really cool kind of space age foam design. It keeps it very, very light. It's the same stuff that bicycle helmets are made out of. So this little guy is powers, packs a powerful punch for sure, but it stays light on your back. And the battery slides right in the top and you're ready to go. Now this guy opens up right here and allows the whole bottom half to come off. That's where you're gonna change out your bag, change out your filters. And it also is neat because it allows the opening or where the vac is connected to it to reverse and be on this side. Let me show you how that works. That's just a strap that pulls down, it's magnetic. That's gonna open up and expose my HEPA filter, and then behind that is an after motor filter. And then inside here, I can't even believe how light it is, is your HEPA media bag. This is a fleece line bag. It's got the rubber seal, and it's designed to capture all of the contaminants in here, just under a gallon size capacity. Very easy to put a new one back in. Drop that down. 
Now your filter here, if you ever need to do maintenance on that, you're gonna pull this open and it's pull straight out just like that. That's where you're gonna find that foam after motor filter. You can peel that out, change it out if necessary. And then align these back underneath here and snap it back into place. Now I wanna pull this on this side, no problem. This is gonna reach up and snap right into there. And then that's magnetic and closes. And now we're ready to go. Let me flip it around to the back side. Now the power is on the harness, right on your hip belt. So you're gonna notice very similar to the upright vacuum, you've got your power here and you also have the blue echo mode. This is a battery indicator that shows me how much life is in the battery without having to take the battery off and look at it physically. It's just a three bar gonna give me a reading here. You can see I've got a full charge there. I can go into echo mode, come out of echo mode, and shut her down. Now the handle assembly snaps in and out really easily. And the wand that comes with it is built really well as well. There's a rubberized handle here. We can reduce the airflow here. And that's if you wanna use the telescopic wand, maybe on something that's a little more delicate or you've got some vertical blinds or maybe some curtains that you wanna clean and you don't want all that suction, you can decrease that right here. And that'll decrease the amount of suction that the machine is getting so that you won't rip things off the wall. Now the telescopic feature is really nice to have. That can adjust for somebody that's seven feet tall or four feet tall. And of course the handle, the step on pedal, allowing for hard floor surface as well as carpeted. So this transitions easily to a hard floor surface by those bristles, those bristles popping straight out. And then when you're ready to put it on carpet, you step on it and away you go. Couldn't be any easier, lighter, and simpler. The battery release is right there. Spring loaded, pops right off. Same battery for the other two pieces in the lineup. And plugs back in. Nice and simple. There's the Zephyr. The sweeper in the Tornado cordless line is the Tempest. Wait till you see the features that are involved in this guy. Right off the bat, you've got the side broom that's pulling the dirt inside of here to the center of the machine. Um, all your controls, again, are yellow, so they're easy to see and touch. You turn the machine on, that side brush starts to spin, and then I can drop that side brush by pressing on that foot pedal right there. And then if I want that side brush to be up off the floor, you simply pull it up and it locks into place. It still stays spinning. There isn't a shutoff feature for that, but you can drop it down and pick it back up. Now on the front top of the machine, you're gonna notice this dial. This dial right here allows you to adjust the brush height and it helps the sensors that are inside there adjust that brush height to the optimal setting for the cleaning. There are sensors built inside this machine that allow for the brush to be elevated off the floor when you're on a thicker pile carpet. And if you're on a thinner pile carpet or even a hard floor surface, it will adjust automatically to that. So as the machine wears, you can increase or decrease the pressure of that big boom brush that's underneath there. And let's just take a look at that brush underneath. So that brush has a chevron design and it's pulling the dirt up off the floor and it's dropping it right into this rear hopper. This shroud that's built around the boom brush here is designed to contain all that fine dust and debris that's being sucked up into the machine. And this machine has an active vacuum system in it that will take all of that fine debris and run it right through 
here. Underneath these two tabs, you pull that up and you can see that we've got an air filter built inside of here and that's easily removed and all of your fine debris is falling right down into the hopper. Now inside of there, there's a, uh, a filter scraper that is also electronic that will manu uh, electronically come back and forth across the bottom of the screen here and clean that filter. So it's almost like a self-cleaning mecha mechanism. That filter scraper has its own motor. There are four motors that operate inside this unit independently. The first one is for that scraper that constantly is moving back and forth. It's a filter shaker and it's scraping that filter so that the fine debris is falling into the hopper. That's running on its own motor. And then the next motor is right up here. This is the motor that's driving that main brush. One of the other safety features of the Tempest is the fact that it won't operate when the hood is open. So you don't have to worry about hitting that switch on and then worrying about whether the brushes are gonna start spinning. There's a sensor built in here that knows that the hood is open. So even in that on position, the buttons will flash, the lights will flash, but it won't operate. So only when you close the machine and then turn it on, everything's gonna fire up. The battery pops out nice and easily, spring-loaded, press it down. Again, same battery as the other units, and you've got your percentage of charge ready to go right there. Lock it back into place. She comes to life, and you can hear that motor kick in right there. That's the light vacuum that's taking that fine debris from inside the machine and pulling it through that air filter. When you come around to the back of the machine, that's where you're gonna find the hopper. And the hopper, just squeeze that handle right there and pull straight out. And you'll notice that it has a liner in it. That's the way it's gonna come. It comes with a liner, it's optional. You can order extra liners if you want to, but it's not necessary, it's just completely optional. If you do have the liner in place, you're gonna to wanna to make sure to just kinda of tuck that edge down because we want these tabs to click back in there, so. Just like that. And there you have it, the Tornado Tempest. One of the easiest, most advanced, quietest sweepers on the market. Running at a whisper quiet 56 decibels, you're gonna have a lot of fun cleaning at all hours with this baby. And one other tip before I let you go is the QR code. You'll notice it here. Look for the QR code that says scan me. You'll be able to scan that with your phone and go right to our landing page on our website where you'll find operation manual, technical support, specs, and more information. So there you have it. That's our lineup for the new cordless series. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned some tips and tricks and how to take care of it. And don't forget, like I told you in the beginning, there's still more to come. If you have any questions, you can always reach us at tornadovac.com.